Hi, I'm Janet Steele, Area Forestry and Wildlife Agent with Clemson Extension. Today we're going to be looking at different methods you can use to control undesirable shrub species on your property such as this privet behind me. When the stems are small enough, you can effectively treat them using a foliar application with a labeled herbicide. But as the stems get larger, you will often need to do another application which is called a basal bark. Basal bark applications are used to control stems that are overhead high or in large clumps. To make a basal bark application, you will need a recommended herbicide. Make sure you have calibrated your sprayer and check the rate recommended for the product you're using. You'll also need a basal bark oil. This is a carrier which helps the chemical penetrate the stems. As always, when you're spraying, make sure that you're wearing all your PPE. In this case, glasses, rubber gloves, long sleeve shirt, long pants, and closed toe shoes. An adjustable cone nozzle is best for spraying a basal bark application. One consideration when you are thinking about doing a basal bark application is not only the size of the stem, but also the type of bark that the tree has. As you can see on this sweet gum, even though it's not very big in diameter, it's already starting to develop the corky bark that's typical of sweet gum stems. So now we're gonna cut it down and take a look at what the bark actually looks like on the inside. So as you can see on this stem that we just cut down, the corky ridges have begun to form all the way around the stem and up the stem. So that is why a basal bark application would not work well on a sweet gum stem this size. This would be a better stem to treat using a cut stump. The best way to determine if a basal bark application will be effective on an undesirable stem is to scratch the surface of the bark with your fingernail. If you can see green below the bark, then you know that the bark on this stem is thin enough for the basal bark application to work. The most effective method for applying a basal bark herbicide is using a backpack sprayer with an adjustable cone nozzle under low pressure. Make sure that you spray every stem between about 12 to 20 inches from the ground line Spray all around the stem and make sure you treat every stem in the clump and also spray large exposed roots. You want to spray the stem until it is wet but not puddling at the base of the stem. Basal bark treatment is most effective during the late summer and fall when the plant is shutting down at the end of the growing season and storing resources in its roots. You want to make sure that you use an oil soluble herbicide that's going to be mixed with the basal bark oil. Water-soluble herbicides will not work because they can be washed off of the bark by rain before they have time to be effective. A basal bark application is a very effective method to use on woody stems where the foliage has grown too tall to be treated effectively with the broadcast application. Just remember that every stem in the clump needs to be treated. The treatment should be done from about 12 to 20 inches above the ground all the way to the base of the stem and also include any large exposed roots. Make sure that you're wearing all PPEs required on the herbicide label. If you need any additional assistance, contact your forestry and natural resources team member at your county Clemson Extension office.